shoot these uh, 22 shot shells into this 10% ballistics gelatin here I'm gonna use a rifle and a revolver um, and we got the uh, CCI 22 shot shell it's number 12 shot then I also got the federal here which is 12 shot as well um, what I'm gonna do is these won't penetrate very far obviously so I'm going to cut the block in half and uh, we'll hit each end with a revolver and then we'll turn them around and uh, hit each end with a, a rifle. And then when I'm done we'll pull out the tape measure and see what the results are although I'm assuming they're going to be very similar. Alright, first step. The CCI shot shell out of my Ruger 1022. And you want to keep in mind that uh, Due to the light payload of these, they have a low amount of recoil, uh, lower than a, uh, your traditional bullet. So, in many cases, they will not cycle in a semi-auto. But here goes a uh, CCI shot shell out of my Ruger 1022. And uh, we're about 10 feet back here. Uh, when I'm done here, I'm going to, like I said, we'll take measurements and I'm going to dissect the block. It's going to be real hard to see those in there. I don't think they would have went that far. Those are just, they skim the top. So we'll have to cut the block open to see exactly what each one did. So I'll spin it around now. And then we'll hit the other side with the Federal. And then after that, I'll cut it in half and shoot the insides. Uh, with the revolver. That's a little better shot of the uh, pattern for you there with the sunlight hitting it, right? You can see there, there's some that they pretty clearly only went an inch or two in there, so that's actually about what it's doing. These ones that went over twice as far, it's because they, uh, they did not enter the block until the very top here. So right there is your uh, reality of penetration. About an inch or two. But uh, we'll hit the other side with the Federal now. And then uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll cut it in half. Hit the insides with the revolver. And then we'll see what our results are. Alright. Now we got the Federal. I reviewed the I compared these before just doing a shot pattern on a target and I said then that uh, these were louder and <laughs> that's definitely true those are much louder than the CCI are and also have the problem uh, well, can't get this lock back but again it's stuck in the, my rifle and I'm gonna have to pluck it out or stick a rod down in there to get it out but let's go check it out and see what it did So again, there's a couple that skim the top, so they're much further, but you can see there how far they really went in. Again, we're at about an inch and a half, roughly. Let me turn this around so I can get the sun on it. So then there's your pattern. So let me take this inside. Maybe a flashlight will show us something better. I'll cut it in half, and then we'll see what the pistol does. All right, well, I couldn't find my uh, flashlight, but it probably wouldn't have helped much anyways. Um, so I'm going to cut it in half now, and then we'll invert it and shoot those sides um, with the pistol. And then when I'm done, we'll, we'll dissect where the shot landed to kind of get an idea 
and what it looks like in there and how far they actually went besides the ones that skimmed and obviously went way further because as I showed most of them are about an inch or inch and a half in there so we'll just cut it up to confirm that uh, the pistol is probably going to be even less because it'll be a lower velocity All right, so now we'll go do the pistol. It's gonna be a Heritage Rough Rider bird's head grip. It's a four, four and a half inch barrel, something like that. It's not the six inch one, it's the four inch. This actually gives you, this gives you a pretty good view right here. Sorry about my dirty fingernails. I've been working outside on cars and stuff. So uh, anyways, as you can see, that's pretty much how far they went in there, about an inch. You see it real clear there. Uh, so, like I said, the ones that traveled further on the top, this is actually the bottom of the block. The ones that traveled further on the top is because they did not contact the block until uh, further down because they skimmed the top. So, as you can see, we got plenty of room to shoot it with the pistol and see what it does. That's probably how I'll compare it actually when we're done. We'll just look at the bottom and then I'll still cut them open. So, this is the CCI. You can see uh, this is the bottom of the Federal. Again, pretty much the same result. Looks like that one might have went a hair further. So, all right, we're gonna shoot the other sides of these with the pistol now, and then we'll pull it up to the sun here, and then I'll trap them open. All right, CCI shot shell. It's gonna be a lot louder out of the pistol here. All right, here we go. Ow, my ears. Definitely a lot louder out of the pistol, which I already knew that, but. All right, that means that Federal is really going to make me deaf. Go get my earplugs real quick. Now yeah, you can kind of see them in there, huh? Let me turn her around here. That's what your pattern looks like. And I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see some right there. Not too many on the bottom there from the CCI. Let me flip it over. So there you can see your pattern pretty good. Again, if any of them went any further, it's because they skimmed the top before they entered the block, but I'm sorry, I'm blinding you there. But there's the results from the CCI out of the pistol, so now we'll try the Federal. All right, here we go with the Federal. seeing much there. We can hold it up to the sun. Alright. And that's the federal. That's the bottom side. And there's your top side. It looks like you can see that those are the ones in there that are there's a few down there too. Relevant to how far they went, the ones that actually entered the front of the block. So I'll take a few slices out of these each and see how they look. All right, so we got the CCI here on the right. So this would have been the entry for the rifle. I'm gonna cut an inch in, see what we got. Again, sorry about the dirty fingers, I've been working on cars. So those most of your shot, as you can see, right there in the uh, first inch approximately. I'll see what we got here. You see just a couple of scragglers there, so, and I mean just barely on the edge there. So that's about it, and that's out of a rifle. We got about an inch, inch and a half of penetration. So that was the CCI. Let's check out again with the rifle. Let's see what Federal out of the rifle did. So there's the Federal out of the rifle, and I gotta say it looks like less of them penetrated towards the back there, and again it's about an inch, inch and a half section there, and then it looks like we got one right there, so it looks like the CCI 
out of the rifle penetrates a smidge further. So now we'll cut the pistol sides. I'll start back at CCI here. We'll take a cut since I'm just going to cut right in front of that group there. Just a little more shallow than what we cut for the rifles. You can see there's a whole bunch of them in there. So that's the CCI out of the pistol. There's the other side. And there ain't nothing in there. <laughs> and that is a thinner piece than what I cut for the rifle. So you can see how the revolver, you have even less penetration. So, check out the Federal now. Entry. And there's the back side with the Federal, a whole bunch of them there. And again, that's a very narrow cut. I believe that's actually a hair under an inch. It's definitely not any more than an inch thick. And that's pretty much where they all rested. Well, I guess there's a, you got a couple in there. Just barely under the surface there from the Federal from the uh, pistol. So there's your results. As you can see, there's no real penetration at all. I mean, most of you already knew that. I knew that, but I just thought it would be fun because I haven't seen too many people hit it with uh, hit ballistic gel with it. And you guys always ask me to see it out of revolver, and if I do the revolver, you guys to see it out of the rifle, so we did both today. So anyways, that's what you can expect. Uh, obviously, you know, these are pretty much for shooting uh, mice and bugs and stuff like that, and that's what they work well for. Some people shoot snakes with it. I guess that would work up close if you're just popping a snake in the head. But yeah, don't expect that to do anything to anything <laughs> larger than a uh, bug or a mouse cause, or, or a snake head. Because that's about all you get right there. Hey, thanks for watching. I got more 22 gel tests coming up. I've already been doing a few. Make sure you check out the 22 uh, pay, uh, playlist if you want to see what you've missed. Um, if you don't want to miss any... Uh, future videos make sure you subscribe hit the bell for notifications click all you'll be notified when i post appreciate you for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one